All right, everybody. What is going on? It's your boy Eternal Oblivion, aka Black Rascal on the What Can I Speak? Eternal. What? Why aren't you wearing any pants? And what the hell is that lotion for, bro? Bye if you need. You gotta keep this professional. The kids are watching. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Eternal Oblivion, aka Black Rascal. Eternal! Oh no! What, man? The lotion! What about it? Shit out of here, man! What the fuck is my lotion, bro? Yo, you gotta keep the professionalism, man! Bro, I'll pull your fucking nuts. I'm hey, trying to... Hey, don't bring it, bitch! Oh god! A few moments later... Alright, so the first question I have is by T. Baylin. I like how you're sticking to the content that makes you happy. I respect that. My question would be, would you like to do collab videos with others in the future? Well, the thing is, I already do somewhat collaborations on my channel. I done like a few videos with my boy Jerome Telos. Uh, back then, I used to do them with uh, people such as Avatar Yaya, Raygon Ren Show. But uh, like doing it with people outside, the people that I usually uh, do collaborations with, I wouldn't mind. The thing is, we would have to be like... Into, we have to be in agreement in order to collaborate, you know, I don't want to just do it with somebody I'm not feeling 50-50 about what we're doing during the collaboration So I definitely wouldn't mind, you know, collaboration with somebody on the video every now and then, so, you know <laughs> Okay, next we have is Storm Leo, oh shit Which girl is Symphone Gear has? There's so many, alright, so there's multiple questions here Alright, so which girl is Symphone Gear has the nicest body in general? Um... Uh, I'm gonna say Maria, honestly, because Maria stayed working out. All right. If you don't say Maria, I'm wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, who has the nicest ass? Really? Actually, Subasa. I'm not even gonna front. Sub no, the whole XV they've been showing Subasa's ass like crazy. Wait, is that the one where they fucking? Yeah. But that was her and Maria, wasn't it? Subasa was showing more with Miller Arc fucking RK older. Oh, <laughs> uh, who is your daughter in the show? Down, that, that's fucking hard because I would literally just say Kirika and Sherby. But if I have to pick one, it would definitely be fucking Kirika. Not even go front. Who <coughs> brings the most bad bitch energy? I want to say Maria because literally Maria brings that fucking energy. But then you got Carol. Carol just brings that shit. And I'm just like, bro, it's, it's hard. But it's between Carol and Maria, honestly. And at the end of it, Leo told me, hey, have a great time at CEO Taku. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> All right, the next question is by Douglas Stewart. Oh, man, I remember subbing to your channel from 2017 when BB Tag was announced, mostly because you seem pretty cool and also like anime fighters. Been a fun two years. Now, as for my question, it's a bit of a two-parter, but bear with me. All right, Douglas. So the first question he asks is, what do you mostly like about fighting games, anime fighting games? Do you like just how they play? Is it the story and the characters? Do you like how the game looks? Or is it all um, all of the above? Um, honestly, yeah, it's all of the above. Like, if the story is cool and the characters are there, and then not to mention adding up the gameplay itself, because I like combo heavy anime fighting games, but like, if you get characters that really, really stuck with me, like for example, fucking Naruto. I like legit, when CF got announced, like, I went from being Jin to a Naruto player, and I, I can't get enough of this guy. Like, I would, like, rapid cancel on spot just to be stylish as fuck with this character, because I just love how he plays. He's rushed down as hell. You always have, you always have different routes, and it's like, being a Naruto player, you, everybody is different. You don't just always go with the most optimal thing. You go with what you feel is better. So I'm like, yeah, it's kind of all the above. The second one is in every fate represented in BB Tag so far, who, from the ones you're familiar with, are your favorite characters from that universe? Oh, damn, um, how many, how many old fates there, Jerome? Like what we got we got freaking Arcana Hearts, we got Blaze Blue, we got Ruby, we got Persona, we got Undernight, we Blitz got Akoski Bliss King, uh Samurai Kagura, that's it, right? Right now. Alright, oh um, what seven? Yeah, that's seven face right now. Oh fuck. Blaze Blue is obviously now to Kuragane. Uh, I thought it was possible. That's crazy. <laughs> Persona, 
even though he's not in there, I kind of want to say show me Nazuki, but they have yet put that nigga in there. I don't know when Mori's going to do that, but you know what? If you want me to say somebody that's in there now, I I guess I can say fucking Adachi because All right. I, I'm going to say Adachi for the, for, the, for the fact that I like when this nigga dumb people to the ground with his persona, you know, but... Put my nigga show in there, bro. Come on, bro. Um, under that. Yo, fucking EQ. But he's not in there. He's not in there. But uh, if we're going to say somebody that's in there now, fucking Odie. Because who don't like Odie? Besides the niggas that don't like Odie. <laughs> You're saying Potato haters. Wow, nigga. She's not even in the game yet, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Wankers? <laughs> Wankers? <laughs> Wankers? Okay, I'm going to say Wankers. Because it's Arcana Heart. Uh, <laughs> it's just Heart. Heart's the only one in there. When the fuck is Mori gonna bring some more Arcana Heart character? Yo, let me get fucking Saki, Weiss, or freaking Kabui. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, Heart is literally in her own roster by herself, bro. Koski Miss Kim. Uh, it feels like you perfect, you dog. Yeah. From a from a Koski Miss Kim. Ayo, Jerome! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Sarah Kagura, I've been playing with Yumi. Even though she's the only character for Sarah Kagura, but if they was to add fucking Miyabi, man. Whoo! Yo, if they was to add Miyabi or Dadoji and see how their gameplay would be, I'm in there. I'm in there. Of course, fucking Hikage, because yo, I told y'all, because if Mori put Hikage in there, I will consider learning fucking Hazuma. Then again, they put Susano in there. Fuck it. I'm gonna have a team of fucking Hikage and Susano. Bet. Say less. Got that young Seuss boy. <laughs> That's that homie right there. <laughs> Shit. Ruby down. Definitely Ruby. It's been a while Ruby. since I, honestly, it's been a while since I played any of the Ruby characters. But the main one that I play the most is obviously White. So I'ma take her. Like here's the thing. At first, starting Ruby, I hated White. Bro, that yo, she came out straight up like a bitch. But after you see her development and what she goes through, or not. You like the character, but other than that, I'm, I'm gonna say Weiss. <laughs> the next one is gonna be by AJ Peasants, okay? okay? Actually, he has two. Holy shit. Alright, the first one is Oblivion. When are you going to do reviews for MF Ghost? And also, how will you be able to read MF Ghost since Mega Rock is going? Wow, Mega Rock is going? Holy shit. Hold on, I read some fucking good webtoons from there. Hold what up, is this bro. ghost thing? Uh, and our ghost is basically uh the sequel to the initial D series or whatnot. Really? Yeah. Uh, so how I'm gonna be doing that is I still owe you guys some manga reviews. I'm not even going for it. I was real dedicated to it or whatnot. I don't want to make it seem like hey I only like did the manga reviews when there's something dealing with talking me or anybody else from the initial D series. I just been busy with fucking cell phone gear trying to get back into making fighting game content. So that's pretty much on my part. I'm trying to slowly get back into doing more um initial D content because. I have been, you know, trying to get more platinums for you guys so you can see how I struggle getting the platinums. But um, when it comes to Mega Rock, I'm pretty much in the MF Ghost Discord, and they pretty much have, uh, they pretty much put out sites that they go on in order to read the translated chapters. So that's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. And also, Oblivion, when you play the new Guilty Gear <laughs> once it come out next year, if you do, I suggest you learn how to play Guilty Gear XR Rev 2 and stream the game played on YouTube or Twitch so people including me who never played Guilty Gear can show us by streaming it on YouTube and Twitch. You know, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I haven't really talked much about the new Guilty Gear because I don't want to be one of those guys that just randomly talk about it and I really don't have any, like, general knowledge because I really fucking don't. I played, like, XR Side, that's it, and that was during, like, the demo. Um... Literally, my brother Rain had been getting me into Rev 2, and you know, I'm slowly getting into it, but I still show this interest into it. But I wouldn't mind, you know, you know, just streaming it because I do want to kind of play it. Because again, I don't want to just do content off of shit and I don't really show that much interest in it. So, uh, I don't know, it depending on the people who pretty much want to see me play on um, Guilty Gear, I wouldn't mind. It's like me playing fucking Melty Blood. I just need to get people that wants to play. I don't want to just stream and niggas don't come play, you feel me? The next one is by Icy Nep. What is your favorite character song for Symphon Gear? Fuck. Oh shit, that's fucking hard. Wow. Oh my god. I still gotta do a tier list on stream about this. Oh my god, I hope they update it on um, Tier List Maker. Um, 
honestly, the most overplayed song and literally my favorite song, like character song wise, would be from Sefo Gear Season 1, and it's definitely going to be the second song from Hibiki. Uh, Watashi Tolu Oto Hibiki. Like, bruh, I love that song because it's honestly like. How can I say this? When Hibiki first had her Symphone gear, of course, you know, it was carried on from Kanade, and now Hibiki suddenly had it because some of the pieces of the Symphone gear came inside of her. But when she played, when they showcased her B-song, her B-side song, and it was similar to Kanade's song, that shit made me cry because I really like Kanade, and the fact that they just killed her off like that, it was kind of bullshit because I feel like Kanade could have really been like a mentor to Hibiki. So to the fact that they had the similar song. I'm like, fuck, that hurt me. So, um, Hibiki's second song from Sefo Gear Season 1 is honestly my favorite character song. The next question is by Devin Mitchell. Sorry if I didn't say your name right. What's your favorite food? Motherfucking chicken! How stereotypical. <laughs> Another question. You got two questions. All right. The first one is, who is the characters you hate the most in Seth Phone Gear? Fuck Adam. Fuck that nigga. That nigga, bro. Fuck it's Adam, bro. The dude is literally a living puppet that wants the power of the gods for his own good. Like, nigga, nobody don't care about you. You got their puppet. What the hell? I can't even say Doctor Verb because Doctor Verb, like, he, he was a bad genius. His goal was kind of crazy, but at the end of the day. He kinda helped them during fucking um the set the the season four. What the fuck he helped them during AXC? So uh, Adam, literally Adam. <laughs> All right. The second question is why is Sakia your favorite character from Toho, bro? Check me out, bro. You tell me you wouldn't like a girl that's dressed up like a maid and she can literally kill you with time, bro? What the fuck? It's literally like looking at a female Dio at this point. But no, like I really like Sakia because one. The fucking beauty to her personality like yo like Sakia is so nonchalant to the fact that you know she's literally just uh made for um what, what was her name Remy L. Scarlet and I'm yeah. just yeah so I was just like yo to the fact that she has the ability to stop time it's like bro and she got knives for days like oh my god son yo you know how, how you know how I like my knives bro you already know bro <laughs> hey fuck you they ain't supposed to agree that shit <laughs> You like to firmly grasp. Wow, nigga. <laughs> All right, the next question is coming from the boy Zach. Oh shit, what's up, Zach? What is your least favorite character to fight in any game? Motherfucking um Tager, nigga. Fuck that nigga, bro. Nobody don't want to deal with freaking Tager grass, bro. And we talking about under like, yo, Jerome. Fuck you, nigga. Your wall thing. Suck ass. Amber Carver. No, bro. Nah, bro. Ain't going, bro. Hey, get your fucking finger out the fucking camera, nigga. <laughs> that nigga free. And the last question on Discord is by Euro Prius. How? Okay, wait. Oh, snap. One day, one day, one day. How did you get to know about Symphone Gear? All right, so Symphone Gear. I always knew about it, but I always slept on it. Like, literally, Symphone Gear is like one of those hidden gym anime. It's not. It's like, how can I say this? I say the anime is not godlike. Because there's flaws. There's really flaws in it. But how they fix the flaws in each season is so fucking good. Because it's like it's like they'll leave out stuff in a new season and bring it back up in the, in the, 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 the latest season. And you understand everything. There's all, the action is so good. The fact that these girls are literally singing as they fight. And mind you, they so grunts while they're singing and get even louder and taking damage while, you know, going through the whole song or whatnot. There's interruptions or whatnot. That shit is so unique when it comes to any Maho Sojo that i ever seen. You feel me? And don't even get me started with the characters. The characters are too damn likable to not want to keep watching the show. Like, bruh, fucking Hibiki and Chris. I can say shit about Maria, Subasa, Kirika, and Sherby. Even though I really fucking felt like Kirika and Sherby deserved more fucking screen time about their past. But that's literally in another video. But... 
I always knew about Cell Phone Gear on Twitter. I think I saw most of it was during Cell Phone Gear G. And again, I still did not pay no mind to it. So, I, when it got close to 2019, at the end of 2018, I started watching Cell Phone Gear Season 1 all the way up to AXZ. I fell in love with the goddamn show. I started making content on it, and here we are today. Literally. With that being said, that also, is... got a bonus question for you. Oh shit. Live and in person. Oh god. If you and I never met, and you never had somebody to play fighting games with, would you see yourself playing fighting games competitively now, since we've, you know, played together, yeah. I've helped you yeah. learn and grow, and then you've kind of established your own thing. Do you feel like you would be in the same position now? Or would you feel like you would be playing it? Yeah, but you wouldn't be as active on it because we you you wouldn't have that that particular person that would run the set with you. You didn't find that person who was at a at a better level at than you at the time that can help you. With it. Well, honestly, I probably wouldn't be interested at all. I'd probably just be playing it just to play it. You see the potential that I can actually go through it. I went through hellish training with your ass, hell, even though I'm still lacking in a lot of stuff. Defense, mind you. I I honestly would just not be interested. Hell, I would not be making fucking fighting game content. You think I'll be making blaze moves and stuff like this and I'm not showing no dedication in order to learn these games? That's the thing. I don't want to fucking make content on things that I have no interest in. So the fact that I can get up and actually make content about Blaze Blue, Under Night, Melty Blood, shit like that, it's because I play these games. That's why when it comes to stuff like Guilty Gear, I don't play it. The game is good in its own way, but I just don't play it. I don't want to make content off of it. But stuff like Blaze Blue, hell, even BB Tag. BB Tag has its ups and downs and whatnot, but I still enjoy the game to a degree. And I love making content about it because again, People tend to be like, yo, BB Tad this, BB Tad that. Like, BB Tad literally helps the fan base of each fate by having people check the other face. You don't gotta just play BB Tad to understand the face because as the face keeps going into the game, other people want to try the other game. You got Under Night in there, niggas gonna go to Under Night. You got Blaze Blue, niggas gonna go to Blaze Blue. Ruby? Ruby ain't got no other game. This is a fucking series. They gonna check out the Ruby series. Persona? Niggas don't even want to go back to Persona because niggas dropped the fucking 2.0. They ain't have it dropping that shit. But still, like, again, if it wasn't for you, I deadass won't be making content about anything dealing with fighting games. So, I... Would just you know just be probably making content a straight initial D and info gear, so yeah, <laughs> I would be you know making content like that <laughs> with it, fighting games. It's it's given you a newfound appreciation for fighting games. It, yeah, it it really has because the thing is, I don't get mad like throughout the tournaments I've been in so far, and even locals like CEO and CEO Sakuda since we're here, you know. I like fighting people. I like fighting people that are better than me. I like losing because it helps me learn. It gives out the thrill. And I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people don't do. I know a lot of people that get their ass whooped and they just want to quit the game and just stop playing in general. That's that shit that's just like, bro, so you want to give up on life? You want to, hey, a girl rejected me. Hey, yo, guess what? I'm going to just stop. Fuck that. Not go, not keep going towards up, but just, yo, there's better fish in the sea out here. Like, that's the thing with fighting games. That shit just keep pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. It's not only fixing up how you play and your fundamentals. It also helps you want to like improve your whole fucking lifestyle in general. A lot of people don't really do that. And that's what I fucking hate. At the end of the day, fighting games really can help somebody improve. I mean, shit, look at my channel now. I'm thankful for everybody that come through and check out my content. And I always make them know, hell, I'm modest as fuck, nigga. Like, yo, I tell you, yo, I ain't shit. I just like making content off this goddamn series or whatever. Whatever fighting game I'm talking about. Mainly anime fighters, you feel me? So it's like, yeah. If it wasn't for you getting me into fighting games in general, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't show no mind to it. I'll look at it, but I wouldn't have the drive to actually, like, talk about it. Because now that I have met you... I met all these people, I have all these people on the channel, and I really appreciate the support that they give me, and this nigga Jerome too, even though he's right here on the camera, he don't want nobody seeing him, plus ultra face ass. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, that is it, yo, you don't get the fucking, yo, Jerome, come on, son.
This is the stance, dog. And <laughs> with all that being said, this has been your boy Eternal Oblivion signing now. Thank you guys again for getting us to 3K. Hope we can get to 4K soon. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right. Oh, man. Are you already done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. You can all close the video now, bro. Yo, you done? Yeah, I'm done. Get the biscuits in bed. Nigga, what? Make a nice and toasty. Push me to the end.